Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, on this October 12th, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Rain? Is is that what I see on the radar this morning? I forgot what it looks like. Please show me what it looks like. I, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's been a month and a day, one month and a day since we last had measurable rainfall in Bowling Green and really much of Southern Kentucky, but there you see it. It's on the radar this morning as of 5 a.m. as I record this uh, podcast. Uh, It's wow. I mean, that's the most activity that the radar has seen, like I said, in over a month. And it's light. There's no real good downpours with this until you go south of Nashville. And then we're seeing some pretty good downpours there. But this is only the beginning. Uh, We've got two cold fronts coming in, one today to bring us the rain, the second one will come in sometime early tomorrow morning and bring in some cooler air. But yeah, that's rain. Expect to see some raindrops on your vehicle as you head off to work this morning in most cases. Uh, Or if not this morning, it will be on into the day and we're going to see those rain chances uh, actually ramping up and maybe even some thunderstorms come later this afternoon. Let's take a look at temperatures, and we are much warmer this morning, as expected, across the area. Lots of 50s and 60s, in fact, more 60s than anything else this morning. 62, 63 here in Bowling Green, as you see there, 63. Scottsville, the coolest, 49, but you know why, right? You know why. I've explained this before. That particular Kentucky Mesonet site is down near the Cumberland River, lower elevation, and with this kind of stable, somewhat stable air mass, dry air mass, it is cooler than everybody else. But once the sun comes up, it will even out with everybody else. So you get 63 there in Russellville, 61 up in Muhlenberg County, 59 up near Hartford, in Ohio County, 61 in Litchfield, 62 in Hart County, uh, 59 in Columbia this morning, but much warmer this morning. You won't have to turn on the heat. Well, some of you might, but I won't. <laughs> I've had the seat warmers on the last couple of mornings uh, just because of the uh, the chilly air and uh, the cold seats. Whew. And so, yeah, <laughs> you won't have to shiver as much this morning as you have in the past few mornings, but that's going to come back. I'll tell you when in just a minute. Right now, let's take a look at uh, future temperatures. We start out in the 60s this morning. We'll climb uh, low to maybe mid 80s for some, but really low 80s thanks to the cloud cover and the chance of showers. Uh, It is going to be quite breezy today with uh, the first of those two cold fronts coming in, the first one bringing the rain, and this afternoon some thunderstorms, and I think that pressure difference is going to cause the winds to really ramp up from the south and west. 10, 20, I mean, we could have some gust up to 30 miles per hour this afternoon. I'm talking really windy, really windy. Not just breezy, but windy. Keep that in mind for this afternoon as that first front comes through. Tonight, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms with the first front. I think we'll still stay, though, in the low 50s. I don't think we're going to uh, get much chillier than that. The colder air is still back to the northwest with the second front that is going to come through tomorrow. And that one is only going to allow us to get into the eh, mid-60s to upper 60s. Some of you may get close to 70, but it's going to be a fast-moving front. Uh, It is going to bring some showers and thunderstorms. It won't be enough rain to get rid of the drought, but it will be a nice little drink of water 
for us and we've got those burn bands going on. So, uh, yeah, this will be, this will be good. Like I said, it's been a month and a day since we've last had measurable rainfall here in the Bowling Green area, much of Southern Kentucky. So we'll take anything we can get right now. Here's a look at the uh, future radar. I'll put this into motion starting with the right now. And right now we are seeing, just like I showed you on the radar, those light scattered showers that are moving across the area, sprinkles in some cases. That's not the main event. This is just the beginning with the first front that will be working its way through. And we may even see for a few hours a little bit of a lull in any kind of shower activity. But then the winds start to pick up, and here's later this afternoon. Now, this is a little bit of a concern. I mentioned this yesterday, that we might see a few renegade showers and thunderstorms popping up. Here's the front back here to the west, the second front. Actually, this is the first one. The second one's back behind it. But this is all prefrontal. Um, and some of these that pop up this afternoon around the area could be rather strong. We could have some hail, possibly small hail. Certainly, we're going to have gusty winds. That's a given. Uh, but a couple of these might come close to being severe. A few of them, not all of them. So don't count that out completely. I know it's been a long time since we've talked about severe weather. But one or two of these this afternoon could get rather hefty, okay? So here comes the main line of thunderstorms rolling in about, oh, six or seven o'clock this evening to about eight, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock on out to the east. Now the front is actually just behind all of this activity. That's the front that's going to usher in the cooler, drier air that's going to come in wake of this. So you can almost see it here. Here we go into early Thursday morning, and there's the front back here. Starting, you can see it kind of lining up. Some residual leftover showers. Yeah, there's the front right there. That's the front that is going to bring us the cooler air. This is into Thursday morning, but skies are going to clear pretty quickly. Like I said, this is a fast-moving system. It's going to be here this evening. It's going to be gone by tomorrow, and then we're done again for a few days. But there's another front that's, you know, looking to come in here sometime like Saturday, Sunday morning. I'll show you that right now. Oh, before I do that, let me show you this. For the first time in a long time, I'm going to show you a severe weather outlook. Now, this is on the low scale of things. It's not very pronounced. There's more of a risk of severe weather further south into west and middle Tennessee, south and west of Nashville, along I-40, like you're heading toward Jackson and Memphis and that area. For us, there is that level one marginal risk that's, again, low-end threat. As I mentioned earlier, we could have one or two storms approach severe limits or even maybe put out a warning, uh, but brief. I don't think this is going to be that much of a big deal, uh, but I wanted to show you that nonetheless because uh, it is at least um, a little bit of a threat. Okay, now on to the maps. I'll show you what's going to go on beyond today. Uh, we are going to continue to see the winds really ramping up. Notice all these gradients here, these uh, isobars, high pressure to low pressure. All, all these uh, bars are tightening. That means a lot of wind coming in with this system. Scattered showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon. Into this evening, that's when some of the heavier rain and stronger storms will come through. And then the front just quickly gets out of here by early Thursday morning. Here is the front that, well, I mean, it's here depicted as a trough or a short wave. It is behind that that we get the cooler air that's going to take over uh, tomorrow on into Friday, 
on into Saturday. And then late Saturday, here comes another system getting organized from the Great Lakes down to the Central Plains. It's going to pick up on some available moisture. Wave of low pressure is going to ride along that front. And I think sometime Saturday afternoon and evening into Sunday morning, we'll see another round of showers. That's fine because we still need the rain. That will be followed again by a second or backdoor cold front that is really going to cool us down. This, look at this. This is a big, sprawling, gigantic ridge of Arctic. Arctic. High pressure. I say that with emphasis because some of the coldest air yet this season is going to arrive with that big dome of high pressure after uh, Sunday. And uh, we're talking cold in a lot of cases. To some of you, it's already cold. (laughs) To some of you that love summer, this is already cold. But wait, (laughs) just wait. Here you see it. We go from 83 today to near 70 tomorrow. Low to mid 70s, Friday, Saturday. Here comes the second front uh, with a more potent shot of Arctic air. And look how we cool down. Only 61 on Monday, 55 for a high temperature Tuesday with a low in around freezing, 31, 32. We stay in the 50s for a day or two, get back into the 60s, warm to near 70 by the end of next weekend. That is more typical of December around here for averages. Our average high is 74, by the way, and none of these temperatures are close except for what we see today, Friday, and Saturday. After that, everything is way below average. Yep, it's coming. Yesterday's high was 80, by the way, at the Bowling Green Airport, 74 they averaged. So that's a six degree difference, six degrees above average. But then we're getting ready to have some below average temperatures once we get that uh, other front in here by Saturday into Sunday. All right, you guys, headed to the radio station as usual for the morning show. I've got more um, A Night at the Opera tickets to give away to Sky Pack next weekend. All the opera, uh, opera, (laughs) Oscars is what I meant to say, not opera. Anyway, A Night at the Oscars. Movie themes. I'll have some movie trivia this morning for you to win those tickets. So listen and win this morning on the radio show. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the radio.